now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures getting up into the upper 50s and even 60 degrees. Wapitoma got that today. Even Wapaka at 62, 59 in Fond du Lac and in Sheboygan. Now these temperatures, if you enjoy them today, they're not going to be here anytime soon. Although up to today, we just have one more day to go. We're running near 7 degrees above normal. Fifth warmest October on record. 24 of the 30 days have seen above average temperatures. Tomorrow might be another one added to it, but you see a lot of these 40s off towards the west. There's a cold front moving in here and even more chillier up towards the northwest into Canada. We're going to get a good push of cold air moving in here from the Canadian prairies. And this cold air is going to be sticking around here through all of next week's work week. So enjoy those low to mid 40s because that's what we're getting as we get towards the weekend. This real deep. Uh, kind of cold air mass will start to retreat back up northward and we will gradually moderate to near or even above average temperatures once again, but I don't think it'll be as extreme as what we saw for today. In terms of today, not bad. We started off with a little bit of cloud cover, but then afterwards it was just a lot of sunshine out there. Very slow moving clouds passing through our area and the sunshine will go away obviously with sunset, but the cloud cover will be arriving here as we head later on into the overnight. We've got this cold front behind it, the cold air mass, and that'll drop our temperatures. Tomorrow is going to be a breezy day once this frontal boundary moves through, and there is a stagnant low pressure still impacting parts of the eastern part of the country that we dealt with over the last about 48 hours or so. Coastal Lake does show some light rain showers in parts of Minnesota and up into Ontario. Not a lot of moisture with this though, and it's probably just going to be a cloudy cold front that moves in. Maybe a stray rain shower if you're lucky, but overall doesn't look to be seeing a whole lot of moisture at the moment. We've got clear skies across northeastern Wisconsin, and that's going to allow those temperatures to fall off into the lower 40s tonight and maybe even potentially some upper 30s. But then the clouds build in here as we get into the early morning hours tomorrow. Skycast hinting at potentially a light sprinkle, but by the mid morning that cold front moves through and skies will turn partly cloudy cloudy to mostly sunny as we head into the afternoon and evening hours, but the winds are going to start to pick up out of the northwest tomorrow. Once that front moves in, we'll have gusts anywhere from about 20 to near 30 miles per hour at times persisting through the afternoon and into the evening hours. As we get into later tomorrow night, the winds will start to subside and we'll see some better conditions as we get into our Monday. Temperatures tomorrow, upper 40s and low 50s. That's all we're going to get. So we can slash about 10 degrees off the highs for tomorrow compared to what we saw for today. And then tomorrow night, we're going to dip down potentially near freezing or below freezing. So if you have any planted potted plants outside still because of how warm it's been so far October. You want to bring them back inside because we are going to be dealing with frost and freeze conditions over the coming days. As we get into Monday, starting off mostly sunny, we'll have mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies throughout the day. Up towards the north into the UP certainly could be dealing with some rain and snow showers, lake effect snow as we have a big push cold of uh, push of cold air across the area. On Monday, highs only getting up into the low to mid 40s and then we'll get down into the low 30s once again by Tuesday morning. It's just going to be this pattern over the next coming week or so. Upper 40s and low 50s right now. We've got 15 Mountain, 15 Anago, 50 same thing in Green Bay and Menominee and Ephraim. Winds pretty light and even calm out there. It was actually a really nice afternoon. Hopefully you're able to enjoy some of that nice weather since it's going to be going away. 41 overnight low winds out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour with increasing clouds. Tomorrow will be turning mostly sunny by the afternoon, but starting off mostly cloudy in the morning. Maybe a straight rain shower 50 for the high northwest winds 10 to 20 gusts near 25 miles per hour. And then afterwards we're going to get down into the 40s. So mid upper 40s on Monday, uh, low to mid 40s on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and take a look at all of these lows we'll be seeing waking up into the mid and upper 20s. We'll start to warm up a little bit as we get towards next Saturday, but still uh, certainly a big change on the way with the welcoming of November. I mean, we've been spoiled. We started off October in the low 80s, some 70s. Mm -hmm. I mean, eventually we know it's going to come to an end. It's always going to come, and I think we know this, but I think we like to postpone it as long as possible. At least sure. I do. Some people love snow. Some people love winter. I mean, with the deer hunt and season coming around, I think some folks are like, hey, can we get a little bit cooler weather, get the deer moving around? Yeah, bit? I think so. I think some people like it. It's probably nicer to be out there. That's true. That, that season. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Gino. Still to come at 6.